Right, we got the log loader here to pick up some logs from uh, a couple big ash trees, but uh, that last one we barber shared on purpose. I, I brought the logs out here to show you something, lay a little wisdom on you. You can see this is the, the front half of that barber chair, and this is the rear half. And what has to happen for a tree to barber chair, you have to have that vertical split, but that vertical split also has to terminate at the front of the stem. I've been writing an article about barber chairs, and, and obviously I've been doing a lot of uh, experimentation with them over the years. In trying to barber chair trees on purpose, I've learned how to prevent barber chair. But let's just take a look at it. Again, that's the front half of the log, so that acts as a pedestal. So that's the piece that stayed when the, when the trunk was cut. This piece here, the rear half, lifted up and then fell off the back. And we have it here again to show you. The rear half is always going to be a little bit bigger than the small half, where that path of least resistance has to terminate at the front of the log. So you're very rarely going to get that when that back cut isn't halfway. And you can see that's just about halfway through there, just a little bit more than halfway, and bam, she went right there. So uh, one of the things I, I point out to people is, is and I'm, I'm writing an article about this, is that if you make a notch that's a third of the way through, and then your hinge is 10% more, you're 43%, right, through. Generally, on most logs, you know, unless they have a lot of lean, which this one did, when you make that back cut through, you're, now you're at 57% of the back cut, you got 43%. To the back of the hinge right that 57 percent is going to be enough to keep it from barber sharing in this situation it wasn't it wasn't going to be enough if you had cut a regular notch and back cut and the hinge wasn't a weak point by the time it hit that that line there it was going to barber chair so one of the things you can do is cut a little bit of a deeper notch if there's not so much lean that that'll pinch the bar cut a deeper notch go through you know almost halfway on the notch, or even halfway on the notch. Then your back cut now, between the notch and the hinge, you're gonna be in the back half of that log, and it's gonna have a very hard time having the path of least resistance terminate on the front of the log, which is necessary for barber chair. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm trying to, trying to lay some wisdom on you. I, I've spent a lot of years thinking about this sort of thing, and uh, that's where I get these ideas. I'm pretty sure they're good. Let me know what you think. Thanks.